Putting today a major change in the city's vaccination policy. Private businesses and students who want to take part in extracurricular activities no longer need to be vaccinated against COVID. CBS News' Eliza Westbrook explains the changes and why everyone isn't on board with the move. They should be rehired and paid full back pay. Steve Yesko, a Manhattan resident, believes it's far too late for the city to make this move after thousands of people lost their jobs because they refused to take the shot. But private businesses and students involved in high risk extracurricular activities no longer need to be vaccinated. So Yesko says nurses, frontline, rehired and paid back. After multiple controversies and many being laid off because of their refusal at one point to get the vaccine, Today marks a turning point. The Board of Health voted to end vaccination requirements in the private workplace last month. The previous vaccine mandate went into effect last December during the Omicron wave in an effort to save lives when former Mayor Bill de Blasio was in office. It sparked controversy even in the world of professional sports when players like Kyrie Irving from the Brooklyn Nets refused to get his shot. He was famously banned from playing in home games because of the city's vaccine rules at the time. It's somewhat of a victory for New York City cops who, for various reasons, did not want to get the vaccine. The Manhattan Supreme Court ordered members of the Police Benevolent Association have those who were either fired or put on leave without pay to be able to return to work if they refuse to get the COVID vaccine. It's important that everyone's aware that the shots are good for you. But Philip Petrosky, who we caught up with heading to work, told us he believed believes New Yorkers who are vaccinated are in much better shape from those who manage to not get vaccinated if another wave takes place. You should be taking them a lot of public awareness and, you know, people should do the responsible thing. Now, the lifting of this mandate also impacts students who attend public and charter schools who are involved in high-risk activities. We're talking things like cheerleading, sports, singing, and orchestra. Reporting from City Hall, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News.